What's up, guys? It's your boy, Reese Boy, back with another video. Are you good? Are you popping? Are you happy? Are you safe? I hope you're safe. All right, guys, so I just got back from getting blood work done. My dad took me to go get some blood work done because I've been needing to get blood work done for my doctor. Um, everything's good. They just need, you know, you got to do your yearly blood work. And so I did that. Jama was live early, guys, so I hope you guys were able to catch Jama's live. She's going live. Like, she goes to live, like... So it's like one o'clock in the morning for us, but then it's like one in the afternoon for them in the Philippines. So it's a different timing. So guys, today we are having Stouffer's. Stouffer's dressing and gravy, basically. So it is it is chicken with mashed potatoes. It's got your stuffing and it's got your gravy. And it's delicious. Guys, so like I was telling you guys, the only reason why I'm eating this stuff is because it's just quick and easy. But I'm going to go back to like my other stuff. And I'm going to bring in some new foods. So you guys are going to see me try different foods. And I have been eating different foods. We tried Puerto Tropical. Um, we did TGI Fridays the other day, me, John, and Lily. Let's say grace. Dear God, bless this food. Bless this time. Pray that everyone's safe. Pray for the hands that put all this stuff in the containers and in the box that they were good. And pray that you protect everyone and protect this nation. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So. So, 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 so. Yeah, so they did my blood work. I don't know if you guys can see the little bump. It's still there. The little bruise. You see it right there? The little bruise. But they... I don't know if I ever told you guys this. But... And I think I have. They've always had a problem finding my blood. Like, always. Like, the whole time that I was in the hospital sitting there miserable, they had the, they had to take blood here. Okay, so they had two IVs and they had one here. Here, the one IV was for fluid because I was very dehydrated and I hated that thing. And then the other one was for the medication. In this arm, they were putting the medication in my arm. And the little, 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 little tip... Uh, the needle hurt because it always kept falling out and it would literally burn and leave a bruise and it was always swollen and it was so annoying and they always tried to change it and change it and change it because that thing hurt so bad like i was oh my god guys i don't i don't ever want to be back there like people always ask me this question and people are really proud of me on tiktok and shout out to everyone on my tiktok i never ever 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 a hundred times over ever want to go back to a hospital and be there for four weeks like I never want to do that ever again in my life that was the worst time of my life I could not use the bathroom I could not find anything good to watch on tv one the only thing that kept me sane was family friends and my loyal fans that were watching me blowing it up on tiktok blowing it up on instagram blowing it up on facebook youtube are you okay what happened I'm worried about you I'm scared like what's going on we don't want to lose you we love you but I know how these big YouTubers feel when they get that much love. Like, you guys are amazing. I'm like, I just had a little channel. At that time, I was still I was still at the one something. I wasn't even in the twos yet. Um, literally, all across the world, people were just, like, amazed. Like, TikTok was, like, my biggest platform at the time because I was, I was already, I think I was already at 2,000 subscribers or 2,000 followers already on TikTok. And then I had like 3,000 likes or something. Oh, I think I was at 3 million likes. I think. Mm hmm. Like, literally, every time I would turn on the thing, it said 99 comments, you know, 1,000 new subscribe, new followers. It was like, wow. Every time. Because I use my platform to document my whole journey. And. Those views and stuff, yes, they have fallen down over the years, but that's fine. I guess people are just tired of the diet. That's why I'm not so much about it anymore, because I don't want to bore people with my channel. But then I have people who are actually trying to do my surgery, who I get messaged, like, I'm not even lying to you guys. I get messaged so much on TikTok about like, hey, man, I'm about to do this surgery. What's the process? What did you do? I want to do it. You know, you encourage me to do it. I'm getting my whole family to do your diet. Well, I still got to talk to them about it. 
This is really good, guys. I feel like it's Thanksgiving morning. When I was in Texas, we had food like this, but my cousin's cooking was good. It was actually better than this. Oh my gosh. Her turkey was delicious. Her mashed potatoes. She made mashed potatoes for me. She made, because it was the first time I was having potatoes that Thanksgiving. Look, I literally did salad, 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 salads all the way up until Thanksgiving. So I could just binge. But <laughs> I did all of that talk and I didn't even binge, guys. I promise you not. My portions were just like this, literally, on my plate. I had a little bit of my turkey. I had a little bit of my mashed potatoes. I had a little bit of my stuffing. I had a little bit of the ham um, and that my mom sent. And I had a little bit of, like, that was it. That's all I really had. And I think I had, like, a half of a roll. That was it. And then I walked afterwards. And then, like... Everyone like went down on that day. Like, oh my god, it was so good. So, so yeah, I've just been doing these because I told you guys again, there's not enough room, so I had to do these. But this is just for right now. I'll be good on the fifteenth. I'm gonna go gro grocery shopping. I'm gonna do another grocery haul, guys, and show you. What I got, there's a video coming that you guys will like as soon as I can get there. Um, I'm going to do a store that I've never been to before. But I've seen them done on YouTube. Let me know if you guys want me to do videos like that. Like where I go to stores that you guys have like never heard of. Buy the prop. Buy, like spend $20 in the store. Like actually have cash on my hand. Spend $20. My budget is $20. So I have to stay under $20, right? And then buy stuff and then show you guys everything that I got in the store because people really like those on YouTube. Like go to Dollar Tree, go to Dollar Store, go to Five and Below. We don't have 99 cent store here, but if we did, I would do that. And I think me and Jama should have a budget of $20. We can't go over $20. And we have to stay under $20. That would be fun. So comment that below if you guys would want us to do that. Because then you guys could do it with your friends and family. And then tag us in it. But. I'm excited. Guys, like I'm so excited for the future. Like it's going to blow up. This channel is going to be big. It already is big. But again, guys, like I really want to work on TV. I really want to help other people. I say that a lot. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing that. And I'm probably like, just do it. Um, but I would be leaving tomorrow, guys, to go back to Texas. Like, literally, I bought the ticket and everything. But I can't go. I have an appointment. I, didn't, I, I can't go. It's a waste of money because you can't get a refund. And I don't even know if they want me to still come. But I'm just being honest. I'm not I'm not bashing anybody. I don't know if they want me to come. So um they will have to tell me if they want me to come. Back. And it can't be one person. All of them have to want me to come back. Because I was going to go and I was going to stay for another three months and then I was going to come back here. But I can't now because I have an appointment for my leg. And the thing on my leg, guys, someone asked in the video, in the video where I was trying on the clothes, someone asked, and they must not be a loyal follower or have been following me or something. They asked, what was the thing on my leg? And I'm like, <clears throat> I really need to explain that again. It's called lymphedema. Okay. And there are people who have it worse than me. Um, It's a growth. And well, we really don't know what it is, honestly. Only God knows what it is. We don't know what it is. But <clears throat> I was told I have three bad veins. And the blood that's supposed to go to my heart is not going to my heart. It's going to my legs. And that was the problem. And it showed up in my right leg. My leg was as big as a ham hog. It was that thick. 
when it first showed up in 2011. And over the years, it's got smaller and smaller. Anytime I eat a lot of salt, it swells up again. But since I've been on this whole diet kick and this whole this whole life change thing, it went away. All the swelling went away. But the lump on my leg, because I was eating so much junk, guys, it was so big to the point where people thought it was, you know, something else. A part of my stomach and it used to be all the way up on my stomach and you can see it in a lot of my tiktok videos my earlier tiktok videos that it used to just hang there and look weird and since then it was like a watermelon now it's smaller now it's like a baby basketball and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to them people won't see it at all but i don't know it's there because it's just going to be excess skin and I have a plastic surgeon who said he would look at it. That's what the appointment is for on the 21st. Not for a plastic surgeon, for a neurosurgeon. Because no one knows what it is and they're scared to operate on it. Because they don't know what's inside of it. If it's blood, if it's pus, if it's a growth, if it's a tumor, they don't know what it is. Because if it's a tumor, then that means that I had some type of cancer and I didn't even know. Because there's tumors that can never bother you ever. But they're bad, you know, but we don't know what it is. And I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if it is, then dang, <laughs> amazing that it sat there for so long and have no feeling. Literally, guys, it has no feeling. I don't feel anything on it. It has no nerve, nothing. It just itches and stinks sometimes. That's all it does. So I'm thinking it's a big pus ball because it itches and it stinks. And there's no way that I want to be a model holding this growth that's like that. It goes like that all the time when I walk. Yes. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. My dad got me some weight. So we're going to start doing some weight competitions. But I'm going to do some weight YouTube videos. So you guys can see. Because I'm looking for a personal trainer. I need to hit up my cousin's girlfriend because she's a personal trainer. And... Right before I started this whole journey, or right before I started the surgery, she told me that after surgery to hit her up because I'm going to have a lot of excess skin, and I already do. In my stomach area, guys, it looks like I was a burn victim. Uh, there's a lot of saggy skin. But now that I have weights, I'm good. This was delicious. If you can't have Thanksgiving, or if you want Thanksgiving year-round, go get you guys some of this, please. It was good. Now, the, the, the cornbread was good, too. This had no sugar. This had four grams of fat. And it's probably the bread, the carb, but look at me, here I go. I got to clean this whole thing out. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you guys. Okay. Who, sorry, that's so, that's so unpolite, <clears throat> unflattering. Okay. So what I wanted to ask you guys, put my coloring book away. That is my table. Who would you guys want to see me collab with? Like, what big YouTuber would you guys want to see Reese's Boy collab with? Like, what big YouTuber or TikToker would you want to see me collab with? Would you want me to work with? Like, I mean, you guys got to think big. And they have to be someone I actually know. Because I don't know a lot of YouTubers. I know a lot of TikTok stars. But there are certain people that I think that would be fun to collab with. That I think would get my channel. And would try to help my channel. Um, I think, well, you know, number one is Sam and Kobe. You know, number two would be the Dalton Twins. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm not really a fan of the Dalton Twins anymore. But, um, I mean, if they wanted to do something, yeah, I would do something. But you got to be very careful because you saw how they treated their best friend. So you got to be very careful what you do, what you say, because they're so like... The fame has got to their head. You can see it. If you watch their videos, you can definitely see where the fame and I mean, they've been through a lot. Yes, but still. Um, 
So it would be first would be Sam and Kobe, 100 percent That's not ever gonna change. Um I just don't see them doing anything bad or getting caught up in any crap or anything like that. I really don't see that. Um would be would be Keen and JC. They're hilarious. They make me laugh every time. Um I just love their friendship. I think their friendship is it reminds me of me and Jama's friendship, like just how close that they are. But how they made a whole empire just the two of them just same as sam and kobe like that's what i can't wait for me and jama to do just together and then what me and john can do too like i can't wait like that'd be fun but it's always giving back it's never being selfish with your empire it's always giving back it's always doing something to better people you know but it's hard with this pandemic right now to do anything but 100 percent, my heart is always giving back and that's never going to change no matter how big i am or no matter how little i am little i am as soon as i get my feet in some out there oh my goodness guys the sky's the limit like i was doing so much volunteer work before and i miss it and i went into a depression and a route and i'm not doing that again i'm a new person but um um and then I would still want to do something with Cameron Dallas. I know he doesn't really make YouTube videos that much. Nash Greer would be fun some, to do something with, like a YouTube video or something. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Now, okay, so here's some TikTok stars. Oh, I want to do something with Zoe. I want to do something with TT. Um, I want to do something with Aunt Bingham because she's hilarious. Um, Tyler Perry really doesn't do YouTube, but I would definitely want to do a movie with Tyler Perry. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I had to work on a song with somebody, I would do something with Justin Bieber 100%. I think Justin Bieber's, vo his voice is like amazing. Um, and there's some other people that you guys probably don't even know of, but like, I would definitely do some songs with some other singers that are out there. Like definitely hit up Rihanna, definitely do something with JLo, definitely do something with like Beyonce, even though I'm not a big fan of Beyonce, but still I would. Um... Because I can sing, guys. I just don't put it on camera. I can sing. You could ask Jama. She'll tell you he can sing. Um, and then with TikTok, there's really no one on TikTok that I want to collab with. Not really. Maybe Taylor Holder. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And he's not really a TikTok star. He's more of a YouTube star. But he goes probably, who does both, I guess. But that's really it. That's the only really TikTok star I would want to do anything with would be Taylor Holder. That's it. I don't really like any of the other TikTok stars. Maybe Little Huddy, because I think he's funny, but that's it. Um, I don't know about Dixie. I don't know about any of those people. I doubt I would do anything with the, the Sway Boys. Like, they just... They drive me crazy. Or the Sway House or whatever the hell they're, or the heck they're called. I, they just drive me nuts. They, they, wouldn't even, they would probably make fun of me before they would want to do a video with me. Or they probably would use me for a video to make fun of me. And then say, well, not fat, we're not fat shaming him. We're just whatever. They'd make up some excuse and get away with it because they have millions and millions of fans. Um, but yeah, that's someone that I would definitely collab with. Some different people. So we got Sam and Kobe. We got Keenan and JC. We got Cameron Dallas. We have uh, Taylor Holder. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Zoe, TT, Aunt Bam, not Aunt Bam, Hattie, Aunt Hattie, Tyler Perry. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Bad Zach. Bad Zach is hilarious. Um, and that's pretty much it. Those are the only people I really watch. Um, and then the fam. Oh, I would do something with Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey Star. I think he just the way that he grew his empire like is amazing. Like, heck yeah, I would do a video with Jeffrey Star. I don't know what it would be about, and I would do something with James Charles too. Like, I don't care. Like, whoever would like be like. I think they they would just be. I think they'd be cool. I think they would want to help, and I don't think that it'd be fake from the heart. Like, I really feel like it'd be in the heart. Like, look, there's someone that has a good heart let's help their channel like i really think that they would help my channel and i would help theirs too by just being like whatever what whatever type of video we did but yeah those are people that i would want to work with so anyways guys make sure you guys subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell i actually have a new intro for this video guys i hope you like it let me know what you think and um i'll see y'all later
Peace.